All right, friends, welcome back to another Power Wash Simulator video. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about two little bits of information that you can use to help you clean any of the levels uh, faster than you'd be able to if you didn't have those bits of information. Uh, one of them is kind of self-explanatory and a little bit easier to notice than the other, but basically um, your cleaning radius of whatever no nozzle you're using is larger based on uh, how far you are from your, uh, your target. And uh, it works, it's most noticeable with the zero degree uh, nozzle, which is why we're doing it, because A, this is a small area and it has some tough dirt that only goes away with the zero degree. But uh, you can see it even with the um, the 15 degree. Just aiming straight on like that. And uh, even further. Just like that. I think it's something to do with trying to keep the cleaning area similar to the... Uh, amount of space the reticle takes up but I'm not 100% sure why this happens it just does so there's that you basically want to maximize the range that you're able to effectively clean from um, and the other one is basically if you uh, notice your cleaning area is a rectangle on any of the nozzles unless you're really close in which case it's a square like that but uh, the thing is when you're aiming at a not even surface or a not perfectly square surface like this, and you're not aiming straight on it, uh, it will still be the same rectangle. Uh, it's a little hard to tell with this angle, but basically, uh, it covers the whole width. Th that same width, based on your screen, is getting cleaned uh, for the full range of the gun, or of the, the nozzle. So, basically, since we're aiming off to the side here, the rec the cleaning area rectangle starts right there and ends, you know, just, you know, like a half inch to the left of that. But the thing is, since that's all in the cleaning radius, it cleans the whole thing. Um, so yeah, you can you with that you can use the uh, even the zero degree nozzle to clean really large surfaces like this really very easily. And you know, if we were taking our time and being careful with how we aim, you know, that, that could be done in like three passes. And uh, just so we can have a nice little comparison, not sliding down too well. How about we don't move when we do it? Uh, nice little comparison. Just like that. Now uh, we got the uh, 15. And you can see it sprayed all the way out to the end. It's just not really cleaning as well because that's really hardy grime over there. But uh, one thing I want to note with this little uh, technique is that it, since it's based on the cleaning the same like length of the rectangle or width, whatever you want to call it, based on whatever configuration you have, you want to use it so that um, basically your nozzle is perpendicular to whatever surface you are trying to clean. So if we do this, yeah, we'll get a little more ra radius on it than, or a little more area on it than if we were to do this but really the the whole value comes from covering this entire surface in three passes whether it fully cleans it or not with this nozzle so uh yeah just a little bit of information that i, I kind of figured out while i was playing it uh, i hope it helps i appreciate you watching uh if you want to check out my other power wash content um right now i'm doing a challenge where i clean every level with only this only the zero degree nozzle uh, I'm doing it with no commentary because I'm not about to commentate this for three hours per level. But uh, yeah, it's it's very relaxing if I say so myself, and I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, I'm also trying to reach a goal of 100 subscribers by the end of 2020, 21. So if you'd like to help me with that, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you want to dab on that like, if it helps, uh, that also helps me as well. So uh, that's it for today. Appreciate you, and I hope you have a good one. Yeet!